Zero FXB bootloader firmware on the RS918. So we'll just enter the menu, press no F1, and we'll go down until we see system info turning the middle knob on the left. Once we see system info, we'll turn it so we can see what's in there. When you can see it, it says the word hide, which is quite confusing. But anyway, display, display controller. As you go down, you're going to see. Let's have a go, keep going. Bootloader, and there's one there, 5.0.4, okay? Now, many of the standard models come out with 3.4.2, but if you wanna start adding new firmware, you need a newer bootloader. I think the radio worked very well without doing any of this, and I definitely am not recommending you do anything because you could you know, damage your, your radio, but I'm showing you what I have done. Um, so, there's your bootloader, okay? Uh, and then when you go further down, you'll see the firmware that I've loaded in a sec. I'm gonna find it. I bet I've gone straight past it. Yeah, silly me, right there in front of me. 2.9.40, and that's by Nizar. So it is a two-pronged process if you do it this way. Now, with if you buy one of these and they've already got the newer boot loader, then you're fine. You won't need to do that. You just do the, you'll see in this video, the latter part where you just put the new firmware on a USB stick, hold down one of these buttons and the power, and it just loads. It's really simple. But if you need to add the boot loader, then that's a bit more complicated. But remember, when you do load firmware, you're gonna wipe all the settings and these devices need to be calibrated. Otherwise, they'll overheat when you transmit ETC. So if we come out, just watch the rest of the video. It's a learning video. I'm not recommending you do any of it. It's me learning, I try everything, and I've still got to, I, I have loaded the, the firmware which adds extra functions on, on this device. Um, and we'll talk about that when I've configured it. Bye for now and watch the rest. To get our firmware and our bootloader file, we're going to need to go to this page here on the left, click bootloader, and then click MCHF, and I'm gonna just download what I did. So on the bootloader, I use the DFU system, which uses the USB cable. So you just click that, and then put that into a file, and I did that, and I called it over here, look, bootload DFU. Then go back. You want the firmware file that you're going to use. Now I've used the Nazir updated firmware, but in this I'm just going to show you what they've got here on the UHSDR page. So you click firmware, and to use the USB you click MCHF, and this time it says FW for firmware, and just click FW MCHF bin. And that means, and then I created another file and called it uh, the firmware file. I put that set, so I've got them separate basically, just so I don't get mixed up. And that's how I've done it. I, I the Nazir program. I'm gonna. I need to test that, and then we'll come back to you. But that's what I did. I just uh, move on to actually installing this now. The DF use program will be on this link here. Just click download and run it. When you run it, just double click DF use just follow the prompts I'll cancel it because I've already got it and then go to your your four squares here and you'll see it looks like this DF use this is the program that you'll be using okay we double click the file called DF use demo which is here it opens up here the USB cable is connected to the bottom left DFU port on the radio and into my PC We've already, as you saw, downloaded the bootloader file and we've used the DFU file because that's what you use when you're using a USB cable. Then you select choose down here and you double click that file and it loads. Then you hold your finger on the power and the up button and the instructions are actually on the radio. Let's just do that. Okay, and now do we have to select upgrade? 
too scared to take my fingers off the button now. So I keep my finger on the power button and I'm going to choose. I've got a white screen, I've got no instructions, but I'm going to choose upgrade anyway. Your device was plugged in DFU mode. Okay, something's happening. Tarzik successful. And we'll let go. And see what happens. Now we're going to put our stick in that has got the bin file in it. Like so. And this time we hold down the minus and the power. So we'll do that, minus power. And it says here, release the band button. So we'll do that. Release the band button. It says here, remove drive or press band button to reboot. So, Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Well, something's happened. Looks like it says we've got everything. It's saying that everything needs recalibrating, but we knew that. So something's, uh, it's definitely got the CN tune now. And um, let's have a look at the calibration. So that seems to work. Let's press the, press the menu. And we'll just go down to C. Let's go down to, where is it? System info and see what we've got. Open. And let's look what we're showing here. Firmware. Yeah, that's on and the, and the newer bootloader. So it looks like we've, uh, we've done it. So more tests soon, but that's the upgrade process. Bye for now. To calibrate the screen after firmware bootloader install, just hold your stylus on the screen, turn it on. Don't let keep the stylus on the screen. And then keep it on, and then you get this. Okay, it will say press band and band to start calibration. So you press both band and band here. And then you start touching these X's in a second. Touch to start, there's one there, just keep, keep touching until it moves to the next one. At the end of this, it actually asks you to draw on the screen, which is quite strange, but anyway, keep doing that. You do this five times, each corner, and then you do the middle. And then your, your screen will start working after calibration. There's a, you know, there's a lot more settings to put in. You've got to calibrate the frequency, the bias. It's a few good videos. I will step by step calibrate mine and make a video on each process because it's a lot to do in one go. Right, that's calibrated and now it says you can draw just press band and band to run drawing screen and you can do this is that a test so I'll just do it a bit okay go around the edges uh, and then it says press power to boot and that's it you're all calibrated Sounding good, and the screen works. You get these nice extra grids, which I think is quite nice. It looks good, you can set all the colours. Even with the mode. Let's select one, and then the mode. Where was it? I saw the mode somewhere. You get another window for the mode. There it is there, power, looking great. Thanks very much for watching, bye for now. Okay, we're back 
antenna connected and I haven't calibrated anything yet I just thought I'd quickly go through straight away I haven't done anything it's showing the waterfall and this green thing here we just tap the screen see what we get here I have to get used to all this now volume you've got this CH tune that wasn't there before VFO A, VFO B still does the tune thing so if you've got the uh, it's not an antenna tuner but it sends out that signal and your mode DSP functions decode I mean the it's I don't know how it's set you know the way it's taken up the whole bottom of the screen I'm sure I just need to change some settings we've got filters here now as far as I can see my touch screen is not on at the moment <laughs> so that's something we'll have to sort out let's have a look now but otherwise everything is working so thanks for watching so far and uh, I'll let you know in further on uh, if, if it's just turning on the touch screen ability because at the moment uh, we've not got that if we just quickly go in the menu just while we're here menu um, come out hide and go up to the top and there's a lot there standard menu configuration menu just looking for display but now let's go to standard turn that Okay, FM mode, display menu, show, estimate calibrate, spectrum type, and that's what we, that's why we're seeing dual. So yeah, I'll let you know um, in a further video how I get the screen working. Bye for now, 7-3.